Name is John Carter, U.S. Special Forces Intel, long range reconnaissance op. Why am I telling you this? I don't know. Maybe it's not important. But someone wiser than me once told me you can tell a lot about a man by what he does. I run a single man operation, deep in country. Territory so remote that even the sight of a lone jarhead is considered more of a novelty than a threat. My missions are classified, as I'm sure my story would be, except no one will believe it. New folks? Many people pop through this area. It's not sharing season. And the poppies haven't harvested yet. You've been here for too long. I'll drink to that. I used to know your father. He used to stand up to these kinds of people. My father died because of your people. You Americans, Russians, everyone wants a piece of what we have here. But with too many hands reaching into the barrel, soon you see there's nothing left to take out. There is nothing left here for you. It's a very nice speech. But you truly believe that your wife and son will be safer once I'm gone? Maybe not my wife. That's funny. She likes you. You should take her with you. She's too heavy. I can't carry that much. I'll give you a cart. I don't know who they are. They have a camp outside of town. Many trucks. They seem to have a lot of money. But no one's getting any of it. Except the prostitutes. Then your wife is doing pretty good. تفنگ ها دوزه پایین تفنگ ها دوزه پایین بزار پایین بچه What is so funny? The look on your face when I blow up all your opium in those trucks How do you know this is opium? You're right When we find out The American doesn't joke Look, I let go of this And you can say goodbye to everything Let him go That's all better. Thank you, John Carter. I owe you one.
little... Get out of the way, little sheep. Uh-huh. Mongrel, I shall shoot both of you. Go! Don't do it. Listen to what I said. You don't want to do this. You don't want to take part in this, okay? You just want to get out of here. Go on and live your life. Get out of here. I'm not authorizing this. Unless I have your full assurance, this procedure will not have adverse effects. We've had a hundred percent success rate so far. Surgeons tell me most in your condition don't even regain consciousness. You're probably wondering what your prognosis is. You're not expected to make it through the night. All of your major systems are failing, but that's okay. Because we have this. The entire data to reconstruct you atom by atom lives on this 16 gigabyte flash memory stick. Now you don't have to answer this now. Because you already signed the papers, we don't need your permission. Just wanted to let you know, if you were concerned this procedure isn't working, don't worry. We've tested it out previously on a human subject. And from all signs, that test was a success. Teleportation. That's right. You are the perfect candidate for this operation. It was funny the other day when you said Mars. Quite prescient, really. We are sending you to Mars. Not the Mars that you think. This is Mars 216, a small planet in the orbit Alpha Centauri, the fourth planet out from its sun. Our scans show an exceeding possibility that this planet could hold life. We certainly believe it has an atmosphere. We haven't been able to penetrate to its surface, but you'll do that for us. Do you have any questions? I don't think he can speak. He's trying to tell us something. I think he's ready to go. one of your kind? No. I believe he's an assassin. Or else, why would he have gotten onto your ship? We should finish him. But he is unarmed. It does not take weapons to kill, my princess. Avert your eyes. No. Leave him. He can do us no harm now. You are making a big mistake, my princess. Then I shall suffer the consequences. The decision is made. Very well, my princess. Did you just call me your princess? A thousand pardons. I meant your highness. Well, I am grateful for all you have done. Only one man shall ever call me his princess. And that man will be blessed.
sign or a really, really bad one. Um, <laughs> well, I'm really sorry about what happened to your egg. But it seemed to me like you guys were having such a good time and laughing. Maybe we can uh, smash some more together. Okay. Okay, forget about that. I'm from a planet called Earth. Well, actually from Virginia, really. My name is John Carter. idea. Same to you, buddy. What do you want me to do? You want me to, to jump? Bunch of idiots. You want me to jump? Okay, you can loosen this up. Give me some slack. You want to jump? Okay. Jump again, I'm not gonna jump. Just do it. I'm hungry. Food. I need to eat some food. You know? Food. Okay. How about some water? 
drinking water, liquids. Great, that's it. Shouldn't you be in school? Yeah, I'll, I'll eat. I'm hungry. It's very kind of you.
Thank you for uh, the hospitality. It didn't come from your body, did it? Forget it, I had to ask. I'll try it. Doesn't smell so bad, I'll give it a shot. not so bad. I was expecting worse. Not bad at all. Yeah, I'll take some more. What is that? No, 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 no. I'm not eating that, no matter what. I don't know what that is, and I'm not eating it. Those are bugs, insects. You see, we don't eat that. I'm not gonna eat it, no matter what. You're not gonna eat that, are you? Yeah, I'm glad you like them. They're good, right? Yes, I don't. I don't eat bugs for dessert. Thank you. Okay, all right. You have to work, work on, on your hospitality. Hospitality. Why am I sounding like this? Now that we have your attention, allow me to introduce myself again. I am Tars Tarkas. This is Sola. I'm John Carter. There was something in that bug, right? Yes. The Jubilee Beetle allows all to communicate. Interesting. They taste like crap. Crap? Never mind. I have a lot of questions for you. And I for you. Thank you. Am I free to go? You have earned your position amongst us. As our tradition, you are often the things of the warrior you defeated on the first day. You may have his quarters and his retinue of slaves. Well, I'm not in need of any slaves. Maybe some of his possessions. Did he have something I could possibly use? 
He did have a lot of debts. Huh. Well, I should have killed a big fat guy. Carl Hodges! God, speak of him with those tones. Well, pardon me. I, I know he's your supreme leader. But when the shit hit the fan, he was the first one to split town. You see many things, John Carter. Yeah, I like to fight with people that want to stick around. Time may come when things like that are settled. We have a saying here on Barsoom. The slowest road to a destination is often the most rewarding. You will love golf. Golf? Everyone to the station! On. This does not concern you. Under no circumstances interfere. I cannot promise that we won't confuse you for the enemy. Ha!
away from us. I'm not here to hurt you. When you attacked the ship before. I've never been here. Then you are a madman! You seen me on this ship? I have. Please tell me what happened. Sabdan said you were here to kill the princess. No, I'm not here to kill anyone. I'll make you a deal. Help us! Those Starks will desecrate our bodies. If they find us, they will do horrible things. Please, there's not much time. You must help us. Take us away from here. I will tell you what you want to know. Our bodies cannot fall to them. No! Take her first, please. Please bury us together. Here, take some water. Can you tell me who that woman was? Well, she's Deja Thoris, princess of Helium. They must not capture her. You also must promise one other thing. If you find her, you must not let her marry Sabthan. Who's that? He did this to us. Do you know who I am? No. I am Kantos Khan, master engineer of the Royal Pumping Station. We were en route to change out the crew. Okay, all right, take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> Remember this. Day by day, night by night, we keep the air clean and bright. Day by day, night by night, we keep the air clean and bright. Day by day, night by night, we keep the air clean and bright. Can you tell me what happened on that ship, when I was there? The princess... Damn. Wait a second, that's not the way to treat a rescuer now. I doubt those are your motives. And I'm in no need of rescue. Look, I don't know if you noticed, but there's a hundred of those guys coming down here to get you, so we have to go. What do you want of me? Look, I will explain later, but we have to get out of here. Why were you on my ship? Your ship? I was there to help Kantos Khan. You've seen Kantos Khan? Yeah, I spoke to him. You're lying. Look, I will explain later. Are you coming with me or not? Stay back! How can I trust you? I'm the only friend you've got. I promise you, I'm not gonna give you up to a bunch of bloodthirsty tharks. You will thank me later. Prisoner's mine!
On behalf of all Thorks, for performing bravely in battle, and for capturing one so important, the Princess of Mars, we award you this fighting harness. You are now Jeddak, among Thorn. Explain. It's not what you think. I'm still on your side. <sighs> uh, <laughs> that was her pee bucket. I should be on her. She's the princess. Good thing you haven't been feeding her much. Let me ask you something. When the princess gets to uh, Tal Hodges, what's going to happen to her? The people of Helium have inflicted many wounds on the Thox. Tal Hodges will reflect on this. One might think that the princess could be a bargaining chip, a way to advance the cause of the Thox on this planet. But Tal Hodges does not think like this. He will most likely send it to her to death, but not before torturing her horribly. It is his way. How did Tal Hodges become supreme? Like all of us, Tal Hodges earned his rank through battle. He fought his way to his position, killing all those before him. He moved up as you are, and I. Do you think you can abscond with her? And that cage. Surely someone must have the key. I thought so. You're not gonna throw anything at me, are you? I forgive you. You do? I see now that you're with these savages because you're too ashamed of yourself to live amongst men. I've heard of ones like you. You don't feel that you deserve to live in society. Don't feel that you deserve anything good. So you just lurk around the edges, never really accomplishing anything in life, never even having a family. Excuse me? I forgive you. You see these people, these Tharks, as bad as they seem, they have honor. How can there be honor in holding someone in a cage? You got a point there. But they're telling me your people are trying to eliminate them. Not true. Not all of my people resist them. Certain factions wish to have them contained. Okay, that's kind of savage. Mars is a delicate balance. My people, we run the air pumping stations, without which all would perish. They don't respect that. They raid our villages. We supply the air that keeps all alive. We keep the air clean and bright. How do you know that? We must leave now. The spiderlings are approaching. You have to let the princess go. That is hard to me. We must leave now. Come on. 
and it's bad to be caught out in the open. We must move. I'm not going until you let the princess go. Ooh, I cannot, my friend. It would be too much temptation for you. I will give you this. If I am killed by the spider links, you can have the key. <laughs> Maybe they won't be able to see us. They hunt from vibrations. They don't have eyes. Give me one of your rifles. Ah. Tuck! Thanks. Don't mention it. Can be good. Looks like a scout. How much longer till we get to tell Hodges? Maybe a day. You know, I was thinking that's not such a good idea, you know? After we were attacked by the Spiderling, one could possibly imagine that we uh, got separated, that the princess was lost. But that is not what happened. One could possibly imagine that I would be derelict in my duties. There's times where dereliction is one's duty. You guys have a lot to learn on this planet. Thanks. Next time, better warn me. 
You're lucky one of my men didn't shoot you. You're lucky I didn't miss. We have a long ride ahead of us. I will make you a deal. If you promise not to run away with Mr. Carter here, I will allow you to remain out of the cage. And why would I run off with him? We thugs, maybe. Different. But we are not unperceptive. Your kind. So simple in their behavior, but... You don't even know what motivates you. I'm certainly not motivated to be anywhere near him. Like a leaf floating down the stream. You are unaware of the current that runs beneath, plotting your course. You, the leaf, think you control your motion. Ah. My only motivation is to return to my people, forget this experience, and all of you. That will be for Tal Hodges to decide. Let us go! of her kind's making. What is it? They say it cleans the air for us. It is used to control us, making us believe that without them we could not survive. So you don't even think it works? They say that one man can operate it. <laughs> we have a saying. To plow the field takes more than one thought. How can one man on a machine that filters the air of an entire planet. It cannot be true. if they didn't make it. Our mission was to deliver a replacement crew to the station. Contus Khan and his wife. <laughs> so, it is true. Two people could run a big machine like that. They don't have to run it. It operates without humans. A royal pumping station official is appointed for life. Their job is to monitor the machine, make necessary maintenance, and if there's trouble, start the backup system. They are a fail-safe. The job of maintaining the Royal Planetary Pump Station is the most important job on this planet. If something were to happen to the machine, and no one was there to start the pump, our planet would die. Well, I think this calls for a detour. What do you say we go and investigate the pumpus station? At least to see if Kantos Khan made it there. We will not deviate. The princess may believe her words are truthful, but they are lies. It comes down to me from my elders. That pumping station does not work. Look at it! Breathe the air! Do, Do you really believe in your heart that the air you breathe comes from that machine? We stay the course.
watch us. We have with us the Princess of Mars. What is this you've interrupted my day with? I have brought you the princess of... So it is the princess of Mars. You are as ugly as I have been told. I cannot see how your kind worships you. But don't worry. When I am done with you, I will make you pretty. Your Holiness. The grasshopper speaks. Jumping bean. I barely noticed you. The princess, as ugly as she may be, was interceptive. We intercepted the princess on the way to do business, which may affect all of us. What could that be? The princess was en route to the royal puppy machine. For years, her kind has used the pretense of the Royal Pumping Station to keep my kind in check. To subjugate us, keep us here in this wasteland while they hoard in the fertile grounds to the north. They keep us in fear, and yet with her delivered to us, we now have an opportunity for our answers. Answers to what? The air you breathe, is it not still fresh? She never delivered her cargo to the station, did she not? Therefore, as we all suspected, it is a sham. The machine can operate without the hand of man or Thark. It is but a precaution we keep it occupied. If something were to happen, we are the only ones who can fix it. I'm sure such speeches sway the masses at home, but not here. Your words reek of lies. You royalness, I think you're being too harsh on the princess. Who are you to tell me what I can do? I am John Carter of Mars. Jeddak of the Tharks. Captain of the Arms. A Jeddak, Grasshopper? Who could have bestowed such a position upon you, a human? It was I, Your Highness. John Carter showed great nobility and courage. He fought bravely in the Spiderling attack. I see before me three abominations. One, Deja Thoris, Princess of Lies. Two, John Carter, made Jeddak against Thark rule. And three, Tars Tarkis. Loyal warrior who broke from Thark tradition. No one but I can confer the position of a Jeddak upon another, especially a human. Tars Darkis, you have served me well. For this offense, I will relieve you of your command. Remove yourself from my throne at once. I will find a place for you amongst my service. John Carter, as told you are a great fighter, I will allow you to use your gifts in the fight pits tonight. Deja Thoris, horrible princess, your fate I will savor. For all those years that you subjugated my people for so long with your malicious lies, I will see to it that no words will ever be issued from your lips. Lips that I will not waste, I might add. Let my will be done!
This doesn't look too good. Princess ship. If I'm lucky enough to meet you in the arena, I'm gonna kill you. Not if I kill you first. Sarka! I am so happy to see you, my friend. What are you doing here? You Americans are so easy to bribe. I think I was dying. I told them where I kept everything. All my profits. If only they could keep me alive. Then the spook agent came in. NSA, CIA. I gave them everything. Oh, they even promised me amnesty if I was successful. Then, I came here. What were you doing with the princess? It was fate. We were destined to be together. We were both on a ship together. When I was teleported... Bingo. You told them I was an assassin, didn't you? You're a soldier, a killer. I'm gonna have fun killing you. We're off! 
to fight! I'm not gonna fight you! I want you to know that you were honorable. I was glad to have you as part of my squad! If we don't fight, they'll kill us both! Commander, right? If I war commander, when you defeat a dog in battle. Oh. If you are to defeat Tal Hodges, then you'll be commander, right? If I could defeat him, yes! You just don't quit, do you? A dog may never concede a fight! Have it your way then. Finish this at another venture, Carter. Why is that? I have someone else I need to meet. She is a bit more important. Oh, I'm sure she'll be pleased. Knowing you're coming after you slaughtered Kantos Khan. Have you learned nothing? If you have a superpower. Challenge you for leadership of the tribe. Do you accept the challenge? Only I can issue such a command. Do you accept the challenge? Die! You are unfit to command. Who amongst 
Zoe's witness to this, denies my right to command. Where's the princess? She went with Sabdon to the pumping station. They took off in the flyer. Do you have another flyer? I'll meet you there. I'm afraid the Tharks got them. But how did you survive? It wasn't easy. I was captured just like you. But the flyer, how did you manage to get it? The Tharks had it. They shot it down like yours. And you were a prisoner of Tal Hajis? Yes. Did you see John Carter? I did. Is he alive? No. He died in the arena. If it is any consolation, he helped me escape. He told me, it was a great honor to have served you in your journey. If he survived, he would have liked to have been your servant. He said that? A rough translation. That's funny. I thought he hated me. No. Furthest from the truth. He felt about you the same way I do. Like what? I love you. My heart can only go to one person. And I want to be that person. But it has already gone out. To who? It does not matter. He's dead now. I have no more heart to give. It can't be. We can talk about this later. Right now we have to find the current keeper of the station. Assess the situation. Tolnard? Princess. Is everything okay in there? This is highly unusual. Let us in. Who are you? He's with me. Princess, thank you. Your Highness. Please. We're here to assess the station. Everything is in fine working order, Princess. No parts need replacement. Everything is as it was 700 years ago when I began. 
Is this man my replacement? No. I'm sorry. Yes, this is all of it. Hydrogen fusion. You know what this is? I wouldn't touch that. But you know what this is? Something you shouldn't be touching. If you know what this is, I don't think you'll come closer to me. What do you want? I want an answer from her. I want you to be mine. Will you be with me? I can't. My heart belongs to me. You're an idiot. You have a backup. I just needed to know where it is. take only four hours for the atmosphere to leach off this planet. That is four hours longer than you will be alive. You always sucked at math, Sarka. You are a shitty opium dealer, a shitty tea seller, and now you are a shitty destroyer of the worlds. Come on. <laughs>
I can't believe you're doing this over a girl. It's not really you. The Sarka I know is motivated by money and power. You might be losing it. You're right. The girl means nothing to me. She is immaterial. With you out of the way, let's say dead, I shall restart this pumping station. But only after the people of this planet make me their supreme ruler and bring me tribute. With this impenetrable station as my base, I shall have the best bargaining chip ever. The air supply. <laughs> it is better than drugs. That's if you can activate the machine. It is a simple mechanism. Maybe not for these primitives. They will give me whatever I want, just to keep from asphyxiating. You're forgetting one small thing. And what is that? I'm going to kill you. Khan, when he died, he was saying something day by day, night, night by night. I know 
You do? Oh, okay. I never told them anything. For them, the experiment was a failure. They didn't expect me to survive, but I guess I was tougher than they thought. If they knew the truth, it would be over. Humans would overrun the savage planet. One fighting man from Earth is enough for Barsoom. They sent me back to active duty. So now I wait, biding my time for the day when I shall return to the red planet and the Princess of Mars. <laughs>